Hi, this is Thundee Yee from borderwork.com and you'll be taking a look at our off-camera um, hands-on preview look at Windows 8 developer build. Uh, so the first thing you notice is the new lock screen. You can see, you can select your picture of any kind for your lock screen. Now this is uh, Windows 8 uh, developer preview build running on a desktop PC and I'll show you the PC configuration in a second. But you can see the lock screen, it does have your, uh, your date and time as well. <laughs> It's that information, of course, in the picture of your choice, which I have each go here. It's very easy to get off the lock screen. So all you need to do is actually scroll up and boom, there you have it. So this is the Metro UI interface here. And before we get into details, let me just show you the specs of this uh, device. If you go to the lower hand corner, you can see the start menu here, or which we can um, we can actually just go to the desktop to switch over. So. This is a desktop menu, now very similar to what you have in Windows 7. Now you can first see the system configuration I have here. This is an AMD Athlon 64 processor, 3200, 2.2 GHz. It's an old processor, an old computer. 2 gigs of RAM, maximum the board can support. I'm running the 32-bit uh, system, it's activated. Um, <clears throat> I'm running an old uh, ATI card. I believe and can't remember what the card is, but it's, it's not on the HD uh, range. But here is your... Um, Windows look here. So this is the hardware configuration. Now there are a few things that are also changed in this Windows menu. For instance, this is your um, uh, when you open up a, 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 um, a folder. This is your new look with the ribbon look on the top, which allows you to you know jump in, delete, create new folders. I can automatically create a new folder like that without right clicking. So that's a couple of the options I have there. They have a manage. I can go back here. or go back home and delete that folder out. So I do have all these options in here. The other thing that's also different is the task manager. See if I do a control, delete. This is the screen that comes up, green. I can switch user, log off, change password, uh, open task manager. Now this is the task manager here. Um, sorry, if I actually um, click on more details. Now this is the expanded task manager. Look, I'm gonna expand it out so you guys can Get a better look. You can see it shows you the processes, status, CPU use, memory, disk, as well as network use. You can go through your performance, for your CPU and memory, as well as wireless, your app history, what you have, startups, user, just one user here, details as well as services. So that's something also different. Now, again, on uh, Windows 8 developer uh, preview and as well as Windows 8, You'll be able to run um, Windows uh, 7 uh, applications on there with ease. So I already have Firefox here just installed. I also have Camtasia Studio here. Uh, you notice everything here is very similar to what we have with Windows 8. So this is not why we're looking at this. So let's jump to the Metro UI. Now to switch over, you can actually go to Start menu and just hit Start. That will switch you over. Or you can actually um, from the Metro UI, you know, drag across. So this is your general Metro UI interface. It says Start you can actually scroll through by using the bar below or I just use my mouse wheel I can scroll through back and forth now you can see the Metro UI apps uh, we have a full app array and also you also see uh, your Windows 7 uh, applications are actually docked here too so I can also access my Windows 7 applications from here which is something very nice first thing you notice of course in the top right hand corner is your um, your name and uh, your icon so I can click on that I can change my user tile so I can change the photo I can lock it which is taking us back to the lock screen, log off, or I can add a new user to the computer. Now, <clears throat> up here you do have the start menu, when you go to, which is not an, uh, an icon anymore, you just kind of hover to the lower left hand corner, and that brings up your date and time as well as just a wireless connectivity at the uh, bottom right, and then here you can actually search, you can share, you go to devices and go to settings. So let's go to search first. So if we click on search, the thing, cool thing about search is search now goes through shows you a list of all the applications you have. So I can actually uh, go through all the different applications here. Sorry, let's go back. Um, sorry, head back here again. So I can either look for applications here or I can actually type in and just search through the applications. I can search through settings, I can look for files, I can search within the applications here themselves. So that's something that's easy um, to do. You can also, now to switch back, you can either use, go back to the corner here to start menu or use a uh, keyboard shortcut here. So I can just go back here again. So that's the search functionality to share. Basically, I can just say start, can share by selecting app to share. So basically, I just have to select something to share. And um, let's select uh, this app here. So to, to do that, you 
going to right click on the app, alarms, and then share. You set up the app that's not available, but basically that's the way to do it. So basically I just have to right click on an application and I can decide to share. Now when you right click on an application, see the lower button hand corner, I can make it smaller, I can uninstall the app or I can unpin it. So I just want to, if I'm going to make this smaller, I can make that smaller, right click again, make it larger. So you can expand the application size overall. Uh, <clears throat> Next we're going to look at is devices. So you go into devices to show you, shows you what devices you have connected to your to your Windows 8 uh, computer or Windows 8 developer build computer. So right now it's just a projector, which means just the screen only is connected. If I had a USB flash drive connected, that would show up um, and things like that. So that's the kind of thing that, that works with that uh, aspect. And then settings. Now this brings up your preferences. It also shows you your wireless connectivity. Um, of course, your volume, the notifications, power, English, and language, and of course, screen and screen brightness. Now, notifications, which you can set per application, or you can turn your notifications off. Go to preferences, shows you, of course, tiles and administrations, and I can clear notifications here. So that's it on uh, that aspect. I keep opening up that application. Now, I can open up a bunch of applications uh, with Windows 8 uh, developer preview build. One I want to show you is pretty cool is the RSS feed. So this is our RSS feed here. I can see the live tiles they actually update each time. Once I click on it, you can, this is a very cool feature. <laughs> it's just showing you the ability of Metro UI. So this is our RSS feed. Of course, I'm subscribed to Borderworks. So we do have a couple of images here. So you can see the news stories. You can actually scroll across TMZ stuff here, um, CNN as well. So you can see all the different um, feeds all together. Now I can uh, click on a news article here, in this article Windows 8, Windows Reimagined by Paris. We can scroll through, I can scroll through, go to the next one, jump to the next, jump to the next, jump to the next, jump to the next. And it shows you, uh, I believe, the top uh, 10 articles. And you can actually just click on it and that takes you to the browser, which we'll show you next. So if I click on this, that opens up Internet Explorer 10. Now, right now Internet Explorer 10 doesn't support Flash, but Adobe said it will. Now you can see, the browser gives you this very uh, wide open space view of you, of the site. So I can go back in here and you can see uh, basically this uh, shows you the whole page without any interference. To right click, it uh, brings up your tabs at the top. Um, you can refresh, you can pin basically. So basically for instance, I can right click here and I'm going to pin this, pin this to start menu. And that's pinned to my start menu. I can um, click on this and I can find on page or use desktop view, which would take you to your traditional view of Explorer. And, <clears throat> and now to switch between applications, you just go to the left hand corner and you can pull an application over. So basically we're back to the RSS feed. Or we can go back to this paint application we had here. Or we can go back to the Windows desktop and we can go back again. So we can recycle through application left or right. But if you want to go to your Metro UI, <clears throat> excuse me. All you have to do is basically hit the start button here and you're back to the Metro UI. So basically these are the different functionalities you have and it just differs from app to app and it's you know something that's pretty cool. Uh, you do have a socialite app which is for your Facebook and you have Twitter around much for your Twitter. So I can just open this up and just just give me an example of what some of the applications are. Twitter Rama basically um, allows me to look at my Twitter feed here. Um, I can make a post, I can retweet of people's uh, uh, posts, uh, so on and so forth. So it's very simple, easy to use. Again, I can switch back and switch over left and right and get back to my Metro UI. Um, <clears throat> and of course, you do have social light, which it's not as fine-tuned yet, but you can see the potential and see where Microsoft's going. You can see where people, especially developing apps, uh, or, you know, will fit into this uh, framework we're working with here. Now, this is running a little slow just because this is an older computer and and uh, the you know it, it does have some slowness issues, but <clears throat> other than that, so uh, looking here at the Windows Seven applications, you can see I pinned that to my desktop. I can move this anywhere, so I can move that there. Same thing with these. I can move 
is anywhere I want to. But you can see the Windows 7 applications. Um, they already pinned to the desktop. Now, they're not in lifetime format, but if you watch the developer uh, build, they talked about how you can easily convert some of these old applications into uh, uh, Metro UI applications and have that lifetime feel and, and give you that whole Metro UI feel to it. So it's something you'll definitely love to see as things go by. Now, um, you can always open your Windows Explorer to check out your files and also the control panel, which is very important. So let's jump in and check that out. Now, this is the new control panel layer. You can see at the very top is a personalized screen where I can go in and of course change my photos and I could also choose apps for my screen notification. So I can go in and choose you know various apps here up to six apps in total. Next up are the users. I can add new users to to the account or I can create a pin. Um, I can use a picture password. So for instance, I am going to use a picture password, use a picture password to maybe verify and we're gonna put a password in and uh, in here. And we go, okay. If we do that, uh, wireless, of course, um, devices are available. Check that out. There's also notification apps. We have a notification. Your privacy here, a uh, number of apps in my history to keep three. Uh, apps that use my location, apps that use my name of a picture. Uh, also, time, uh, time as well as uh, touch keyboard uh, functionalities. And here in the general, you can actually refresh PC. So basically, I can reinstall Windows 8 and keep all my files intact. Or I can basically restart your PC and start over. Now, this is available in Windows 7, but this is just an easier uh, way and kind of consumer-friendly way of saying, hey, hit the factory reset button. And we can wipe it out and I can just give this over to like my cousins or something. And that's you know pretty nice, pretty yeah, cool. This is also your search options, how you, so you can set uh, apps you need to, to search through, share history, um, <clears throat> send history, uh, ease of access, devices, you know, added device. So it shows you all the devices on my system here. Um, I have the mouse, fax, of course, the E two two nine zero monitor, keyboard, um, of course. Bankai PC basically just a PC on my network, my other PC. Uh, play on, a ditto, you know. So basically, these are the things that I can already access uh, because I'm shared on the same network. Windows Update, uh, Home Group, as well as updates. Um, so I use the finish install updates, most recent, no updates. More settings, which will now take you to your regular old control panel view. So uh, you still have the jumping back and forth. I don't know if something Microsoft will eventually flesh out a little bit more, but uh, so let's head back here, and uh, that's pretty much it. So that's how um, you know the control panel looks like and works with uh, Windows 8 and the Metro UI. So it's it's a very uh, it's very fluid. I mean, um, some people have complained that you know the you might have to use a lot of keyboard uh, shortcuts. I haven't really needed to. I can really mouse click my way through most of it. I can see where some issues will arise. But again, this developer preview, this is not the beta. So we haven't gone to beta yet, but it, it's functioning uh, pretty well to my satisfaction. I do like it a lot. So um, definitely can't wait to see. Uh, we can check out the store. Store is not available. It says coming soon. So um, that's something just to note here. Uh, one thing to note is that uh, if you go into an application, so for instance, I go into an application and I want to do the settings, check the settings of application, I have to just go here, lower right corner, go to settings. That will actually bring the settings for this application itself. So, you know, that's basically how it works. Um, and if you go here, settings is just your general settings uh, for your Metro UI uh, dashboard. So anyway, um, <clears throat> if you guys have any questions or any comments uh, or need to find out more information about uh, uh, Windows uh, Windows 8 Developer Preview, uh, let us know. Um, you know, so it's like I said, it's a very fluid system. Uh, is even though at an early stage, you can see um, how intuitive it is and it's easy to actually use and function. And I can see this working a lot, especially when you have, uh, key, uh, for instance, I, this of course is not a touchscreen uh, monitor, but you can see this home built PCs that have touchscreen functionality where you can actually just jump in and jump out and you know really brings the whole family together especially on a desktop to different applications and you can see the huge potential for there for instance you know an app like uh, near me where i can go in and easily search by distance uh places around me or by ratings and uh, find out you know places to go out to things like that 
and uh, already once I click on it, I can easily jump in, I can either go home, I can map it out, or I can get directions or add this to my favorite. So I could easily just add that as a favorite, um, you know, and I could map it out, which, you know, takes you straight to basically Bing Maps, but it doesn't take you out of the application. It's already tied in. And uh, you can find out, you know, where it is and, and uh, you know, uh, map your way to the place. So it's, you know, it's just very cool that you have an application or you have a system that uh, works that fluidly. So like I mentioned, uh, if you guys have any questions, any comments, let us know. Um, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. It's all border work with two O's. So this is Thunder from Border Work. Hope you enjoyed our hands-on look at Windows 8 uh, developer preview build, uh, looking at the Metro UI. And uh, yeah, this is Thunder from Border Work saying thank you and uh, always enjoy entertainment.